This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS application. Hello everyone and welcome to the new video of Educate WordPress. On this channel we talk all about WordPress and today we are going to add two tip glossary to our website. So this helps to create a glossary encyclopedia or dictionary of your terms and show responsive tool tips when user hover over the terms. So for this we will use CM tool tip glossary. To download this plugin, we will go to plugins in our dashboard and go to admin. And we will search for tooltip. Here you will see CM tooltip glossary. Just click on install now. And then click on activate. So after activation, you will see a window like this. And after registering your software, you will get these benefits. So you have to give in your email and site address and click on register now. And you can even skip for now. After that, it will show you the installation guide and how you can add new CM Tooltip Gross email. So now let's create our own glossary. For that, we have to go to add new in CM Tooltip. So here I have a title or a word for which I want my glossary. And now it's definition. And then I'll align it to middle. And then hit on publish. So now I can view my item glossary by clicking here or here also. So here my glossary, newly created glossary is shown. So if I use this word in any of my text in my website, as in post or in any page, the user can hover over it and get the definition and if he clicks on this the new page will open which will look like this so this is how simply you can create a, your own glossary of words and terms so let's create a few more So in grocery, you will see your all created groceries or created terms. So I'll add one more by clicking on add grocery item. And publish. And now I will go on to create a page, new page. I'll click on add new and here I will give any title and here what I'll do I'll type both of those words so if I hit on publish and view my page the hard word and WordPress, whenever I hover over it, it will show me its definition. And if I click on any of these, the separate page will open. And if I want to see all the terms and words created by me, I can just go to glossary from my menu. And here I can see all the words. So if there are many words, it will arrange 
in alphabetical order and I can view it from here. And now let's go to its settings. Here in general setting, we can see the index page and click generate page for grocery index. So it will generate a separate page for my grocery index. So since it is selected to none, I can get a generated page automatically. By clicking on this, you can exclude the terms from search of your web page, default search given by WordPress. You can change the grocery permalink if you do not want to name it as grocery. And for any of the setting, you can just hover over this question mark and get it working or why what this setting is used for. And these are our pro features that are not editable from us so for that you have to buy its pro pack and you can see its pricing by clicking on upgrade now and here you will see all of its pricing so in its pro pack you can even get integration from google translation and wikipedia also Next is grocery index page. This is the index page that is created. And here I can style my index page differently by clicking on this checkbox. And you can understand what it means by opening over this question mark. So the next is for grocery term. So most of it is available for paid version only. But here in grocery term links, you can edit some of these like removing link to the grocery term page. So it will remove the link from the pay, uh, the term on your page if you check this box and you can click this to open the term page in the new window if anyone over over that term and click on it then the new window will open you can change its underlying color and you can change its background color also when someone over over is out, it will look like you can change it. You can change its text color just like this. You can limit the tooltip length. So there are more settings like this for labels also. And if you want to upgrade, here you will see what you will get and the offers available right now so that's it for this video thank you for watching hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to advocate wordpress